Welcome back to my channel, Baby Dolls. As always, you know I'm super duper excited you guys decided to watch one of my videos. And today, as you can see from the title, we are going to talk about five different little facts about your vagina. Okay, so actually, two of these things I already knew, but the other three I had no idea. So um, if y'all got any more fun facts, drop them down in the comments. Let us know the more you know, and we're going to get right on into it. So the first thing is that pubic hair is good it's healthy like i know they be wanting you to go down there and and shave it free or you yourself be wanting to wax it free but you need a little bit of greenery to keep your little cootie cat healthy okay your vulvarina needs some love and it needs some protection they like the gates from hell like you don't even gotta keep it full you can just get like a little landing strip you know guide them in the right direction you know because you know after you shave and, and you be itchy and stuff like that it's because you ain't got no hair you ain't got no std you ain't got no hair and I, I, I tell you what you don't got and that's gonna cause a lot of irritation when it's rubbing against the fabric so yeah you need a little bit of hair a little, little bit of hair just this wee bit it keeps the bacteria out it keeps all the things nice and lush and, and and flourishing down there so please if you don't got to don't shave it all off you don't need to be naked period all right period number two um i found out that <laughs> it's like a little like, so that just kind of made me go back and be like are straight men a little mooky and lesbians a little hetero because it's supposed to be the female version of a penis like that's 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 it's very 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 similar and it ain't that much far off so if you out there sucking peen you you also out here sucking <laughs> that's the same thing i'm not sure but i do know that if you listen to the first tip and create a little landing strip you can guide them to the right direction it has eight thousand different nerves in there it's the most concentrated spot in your body with nerves that are in all in one area it's even like i think the penis only has four thousand nerves so it's if if i'm if getting you off and you can't get me off that's a problem it's not that hard it's twice as easy shouldn't be that hard shouldn't be that hard shouldn't be that hard so yeah that's my thought on that one let's see three apparently running these red lights it's good for the body. Apparently having sex on your period, it creates um, endorphins such as the serotonin and it makes you happy and you're feeling all good. But I also feel like why not just eat chocolate? Cause that creates the same thing. But I mean, it's whatever though, you know, you just throw the little towel down on the bed, you ride the carpet. Like I understand, you know? Um, also it's supposed to um, keep your mind occupied if you're not thinking about the cramps and the pain. Apparently, that's supposed to make that easier. That's a dub. That's not true. Anybody who gets a period know that that's not true. I think about a lot of things in my period and pain still comes through. But they also say that if you get an orgasm, if you're lucky enough to get one, that your walls constrict and release. And that allows the cramps to go through quickly, you know? So, okay maybe any way to make it so that it's okay to have sex in your period like whatever works for you sis but that was that fact so now number four i don't know i could be a myth i'm not sure because i ain't never heard of no thing called pink balls or blue walls but apparently that is the female version of blue balls and uh, we can get it like, if you're not getting sexually satisfied, if your man or your woman is not doing what they're supposed to be doing, and down in your little red wagon area, in your little meat cleaver area, you're uh, feeling like this sort of pressure, almost like sort of gas bowl, some sort of pain. Yeah, that means you got a, a couple more things in you that need to come out. They ain't doing it right. You better tap them, wake them up. Sir, your job is not done. My meat curtains, they need to be played with. I need you to figure that out. So, um... If you've ever had that feeling, it's a real thing. It's not going to hurt you, obviously. Just like blue balls don't hurt the, like men. It's just an uncomfortable, painful feeling. And um, the only way to get rid of that is to... <laughs> okay. The number five, the last one, is also something that I learned new today. Because I've always thought that the hymen was like an actual piece of skin or something. And actually, it is just like some sort of mucoid 
mucus, mucoid sort of thin lining that can be broken anyway outside of penetration, um, like sexual penetration. So please don't be a TI in the head ass talking about some oh if you don't have a hymen you're not a virgin like you can lose um you can pop your hymen riding a bike um sp any sort of sports that are like high impact or whatever the uh, equestrians them girls with riding horses from like six and young all that bouncing and everything like that it's a very thin filmy little thing that's easy to pop so listen don't 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 be a ti in the head ass because that's not true that's mad dumb and clearly it's hella ignorant so and i'm gonna that was it you know a little quick tidbit a little bit of information the more you know you know what i'm saying or something like that. No, 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 no. make sure if y'all like this video you let me know if you want to see anything more i could find out facts about anything google is your best friend and make sure you're subscribed liking the video and and too.